Hey, what's up, guys? Um, Mac Geek Alex here. Just wanted to um, show you guys a quick review of the new MIUI room ROM for the <coughs> um, Galaxy Nexus. This is based on Jelly Bean 4.1, um, and I just flashed this a couple of minutes ago, and as you can see, um, it's looking pretty good. So here's the lock screen. Can go to camera. So again, camera, phone, unlock, and messages. So let's go right to unlock. And um, as you can see, it's um, you have the app drawers here to the left. Now, one of the things I noticed about this ROM is that there's no separation between the home screens and the app screens. So you have the apps right on the home screens right there and they also have um, you know larger icons than on the just the vanilla jelly bean ROM now one of the unique features of this is um, the notification center <coughs> which I can customize here if you go into settings and look at um, Well, status bar settings, and you can have it in page mode. If you would do that, you can see you can have separate screens for notifications and for toggles, which is pretty cool. And one of the neat things here is um, you can adjust brightness, which I couldn't do on the AOKP and Cyanogen mod preview versions. Let's go back to auto and I quite like having the compact mode so that's what I'll do. If you scroll down here you can scroll across for your different um, settings so that's cool. And you also notice another difference is that right at the bottom here you have <coughs> four different um, buttons for the back home is a menu button which from which you can access um, settings and this is um, this changes according to what app you're in so say I'm in dolphin and this doesn't actually function in dolphin <coughs> let's go back home um, say I'm on phone So as you can see, it's a const contextual menu, which changes um, based on where I'm at. And you can of course customize this, so let's go into settings, you can look at button so customize screen key position so you can customize you know where you want these to be at and um, this is not how it originally came um, it originally came with the back key on the right side which I'm not used to so I moved it back to the left side so it doesn't look like I can change the number of keys. It looks like it's fixed to four keys. And also I've not figured out how to customize the um, different options from the lock screen. So I'm not sure if you can actually you know, change these um, options on the lock screen. But anyway, it's got, it's got nice you know, stuff is like skinned differently than on the um, stock ROM. So obviously it's not as fast as AOKP or Cyanogen mod. So far if I found the AOKP preview version to be the quickest. And um, if you go to your apps here, and there's a neat little broom here, which if you click on it will kind of clear your memory. 
but as you can see it's using up quite a bit of memory I'm um, not really running anything and say I have some recent apps that I've opened let's open up a couple apps here um, you can just swipe them away here to quit and back in the settings so this is um, more of a white background here versus the um, darker background on the stock um, you can have more common settings here which doesn't look like it's customizable and yep so let's take a look at about so there I am on the um, see the build and kernel version right there so yep that's it this was a quick review of the new MIUI jelly bean ROM I'm really digging the um, the skins and the interface but it does seem lacking in the speed department so um, as I get you know more I'll, I'll do a fuller review at a later time, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.